Hi, my name is Brienne, and I have autoimmune disease. I've had to deal with chronic illness for most of my life. At 40 years old, I have spent 38 of those years struggling physically, mentally, or both. So I completely understand how hard it can be to just live. But one thing I never bought into was the doctor's prognosis of a lifetime of being ill. I'm here to share a little bit of my story and how I reclaimed my life from such diseases as bipolar disorder, major depression, ADD, fibromyalgia, irritable bowel disorder, and Lyme disease. From a very young age, I had to work triple time to overcome all my limitations. Sometimes it felt as if I had amnesia because the brain fog was so debilitating. Having a linear path to my day and to have focus seemed nearly impossible at times. When I look back at the broken brain symptoms that I experienced as a child, teen, adult, I'm surprised I was even able to finish college and maintain a job. I remember thinking all of the time, like, why is everything so hard for me? It was hard for me to, to focus. I was depressed, I had low energy, constantly hungry, obsessed with food, in chronic pain, um, I was unmotivated, apathetic, and I was addicted to caffeine, especially around my cycle. I mean, I was so irritable, angry, and a lot of times overtaken with negative thinking. And the bloating in my gut was so bad that to the point where it looked as if I was pregnant. So my self-confidence was always an issue because I didn't feel comfortable in my body. I, I always felt like something was wrong and it was. I was completely uh, addicted to food, stimulants, cannabis, and I depended on these things to help shift my mood when I was overwhelmed by all my symptoms. So for me, I felt really lucky because I was allergic to alcohol. So I'm sure I would have been addicted to that too if I wasn't allergic to it. <laughs> you know, sometimes it just felt like as if my life was a nightmare. I even went so far as to attempt suicide in my mid twenties because I was so tired of being sick. So, between 2002 and 2007, I had fixed a lot of my symptoms, or at least I put them into remission. Um, I did this by changing my diet and utilizing nutritional supplements. I did yoga, meditation. Um, I went and saw lots of functional nutrition doctors and so much research. And that's when like, I completely fell in love with uh, plants, plant medicine, herbs, and I started studying herbal medicine. And I got so much better for a few years. And, but I still experienced bouts of severe depression and mood swings. And that was one of the issues that I still took pharmaceuticals for because I couldn't fix it. Um, I lived with this cycle of up and down. And uh, that was about on and off for another decade. So in 2017, uh, after a very traumatic event, I began losing my hair and it was excessive. Like I probably lost about half of my head of hair uh, and I started having lots of symptoms again. All of my autoimmune symptoms came back. <sighs> it was super scary because I thought that I knew, already I knew what to do. I mean, I had been working for the number one nutritional supplement company in the world. <laughs> I was educating doctors on, you know, the benefits of certain nutritional supplements and cutting edge nutrition. And here I was, um, I didn't know what was going on with my body. So uh, after losing about half a head of my hair, I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. And it was super strange because I had never gotten a tick bite. So, how I was somehow dealing with this illness was beyond me. 
So, of course, I had to do a deep dive into what was behind this disease. And there's this uh, little known bacteria called Borrelia. And there are these incredibly smart microorganisms. There are parasites, bacteria, viruses, fungi, mold, mycoplasma, all of these bugs that you know live within us. And some of them are so highly evolved that they would be called pleomorphic, which means they are in essence shapeshifters and they can change their form based on their environment. And another thing about these guys is that they can live inside your cells or they can live inside your tissue. So rather than live in the bloodstream, they can evade your immune system. So it makes that so hard for you to kill them because they're, they're so highly evolved, it takes a lot of strategy and a very specific approach to eradicating um, these types of overgrowths. So I began to make the correlation uh, based on scientific journal reviews and listening to hundreds of hours of doctors speaking uh, about these organisms and how they can cause neurological issues. Um, neurological issues from depression, anxiety, Alzheimer's, even autism, Parkinson's, MS, ADD, ADHD, and schizophrenia. And also really all of the major health crises that we're facing today, even cancer, can be linked back to an imbalance in the, mi the uh, microbiome. So, so much of autoimmune illness, and I would even say all of autoimmune illness has its origins in the imbalance of the gut microbiome. And with the overuse of antibiotics, coupled with the massive spraying of glyphosate, which is the key ingredient in Roundup, that pesticide, we are seeing wide ranging effects of leaky gut and a gut that has severe imbalances in pathogens and it's causing so much chaos in the body. So getting Lyme disease was a huge blessing in disguise because I was able to take uh, the necessary steps to detoxify my body, eliminate parasites, pathogens, and restore a healthy microbiome. And in doing so, I was no longer depressed, which is amazing. I have been um, depression-free for two years, and that's the most I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> so I have stopped having mood swings and crippling brain fog. I'm no longer in having bouts of terrible pain. And for the first time in my life, I also have consistent energy. And I'm not at the whims of my body or mind anymore. And that is a huge feat for me because at times I felt like I was a flake. Like there was something inherently wrong with me because I couldn't be consistent. And I want people to know that it's, there's nothing wrong with you. It's our environment that is a problem and we are toxic. And if we just detoxify in the right order, we jumpstart the body and open up the drainage pathways, we eliminate the toxic load that we've been holding onto. And that first step of opening these drainage pathways is so important because you don't want to start killing off pathogens when you have a eliminatory system that isn't working effectively. So that can make the process so much more uncomfortable when you are holding on to so much of these toxins. Um, another thing that I suggest to do is to turn off retroviruses that have been activated by epigenetic factors. I also would recommend reestablishing connections from the central nervous system and the neurons. Um, and healthy bodily functioning will be restored and there will be health throughout the body. So not only have I healed myself from these incurable illnesses, but I have worked and apprenticed for 12 years 
with some of the best alternative medical minds in the United States. I've had the honor of teaching medical doctors about nutritional supplementation as an educator for life extension. And before that, I spent about eight and a half years working with New Chapter Nutritional Supplement Company, educating all over greater Los Angeles about the benefits of plants, medicinal mushrooms, and the importance, of course, of a healthy microbiome. So uh, most recently, I have become a functional medicine practitioner, an Ayurveda counselor, yoga instructor, and certified herbalist. I have done all this because I want to help people. I empathize so deeply with people who suffer from chronic illness, and I also empathize with the families who support the people who are ill, because I know how much patience and time and money and effort it takes to be the one who's sick or to love someone who's sick. And you shouldn't live your life suffering. So I'm here to help. Thank you.